bad beast is huh huh any guesses what we got here boys so check this out today here at the 805 mini clubhouse this is bike builder bear co-founder of the 805 minis is gonna be here soon joseph we are going to stick the 190 motor in his Boom Vader. So he's going to be going from 125 to 190. I'm going to be getting a cam kit. I don't have the money to upgrade to a big motor right away. I'm going to run out my motor, build it, run it out, and then save some money for the uh, Daytona. This is the, I think, the Piranha um, clone. Or something similar to the Piranha 190. Um, something that's better. I, I don't know. I'm going to have him explain it later. But I just wanted to say check this out. We are here. We got the tan up. We got the tools out. We are doing it. Um, this video will be on YouTube. Bike Builder Bear. No you. Bike Builder Bear. At YouTube. And um, check us out always on Facebook and Instagram. 805 Minis. Pretty tight, you think? It's deep spinning. I think that'll be good because those bolts are only supposed to be like 40 inch pounds to 60 inch pounds. Prepping the 190 to go in the Boom Vader. We are going to do a walk around before we do that engine swap. Okay, so this is my buddy Joseph. I'm going to let him um, do most of the talking. He's going to walk you through his changes to the Boom Vader 125. And uh, we're going to be putting in that big motor right after this um, video stops. It'll all be clipped into a big old video, but... So... Alright, I painted it white. Changed out the uh, rear... Uh, this rear uh, uh, license plate holder. It's your band. Alright, hold on. Already got blinkers. Blink. Blank. I did a little bit, I uh, changed out this back light here. Uh, pay this piece. Uh, well, how I did it, I cut the, uh, this is a boom baiter, so it has a bar that comes around here that holds this ugly, the ugly thing, the fender. So I was thinking about making a little plate just to cover right here to make it look a little better in the back. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. It looks, it looks legit though. It holds everything square and center where you can see it. Yeah, we got some swing arms coming in. I'll build it uh, for this bike here also. We're going to throw on a new... Uh... Yeah, we got billet, uh, custom aluminum swing arms coming. Yeah, so I... you went with like a race style um, yeah, foot peg setup. Yeah, this back more. What is it like? Where are you at right here? I'm it. square with the axle oh. with this. I'm square with this, straight oh, down. Oh, you're straight down with this thing. Yeah. You're like right here. Yeah, and you got more of a track I race came back position. A lot, a lot more. Yeah. yeah. And I upgraded the uh, speedometer. This is a uh, uh, 20 miles off, or so I uh, dropped in a GPS, and I put the mile. You can program the mileage if you hold the button down. Yeah. Yeah. Here, let's see. Block that shadow here. Oh, block the shadow there. You can see the. Yeah, it's kind of got a glare. Yeah. All right. Cool. Cool. Yeah. yeah. It does. Uh, it does. It does a scans for satellites. Yeah. Because if anybody knows these bikes, check out the lights know. I put in. I, I had to rewire everything, so these are lit up. Let me turn it off. Ooh, uh, look at that. Yeah. At night they light up real cool. Heck yeah. And anybody knows um, these clones, they have 
terrible speedometers. The wiring was crazy because I had to do every button individually. I had to trace the first wire and not touch anything else until I got that one hooked up with that button. So I have an extra button. It has hazards too. So I, if you have a, a, a boom baiter that don't have hazards, well, this is converted over and it has hazards. You can press the button and you got hazards out blinking and everything. That's a nice upgrade. I'm uh, thinking about doing that because... Yeah, I'll help you with the wiring. It's, it's kind of... Yeah, it took like an hour, but an hour. Yeah. <laughs> but I got the GPS right here, perfect right here. Um, <clears throat> yeah, we tried to put a CDI in there. It didn't work because it's a DC system. But we're going to upgrade and try this out with this motor here. Check this out. It's going to go in there. And this motor's going in. It'll be in soon. Yeah. Um, I threw a uh, LED I got at uh, what's that, AutoZone. I had some other ones on there that had a halos, but they were hitting the top, so I, I, I went more streamlined. Maybe if I upgrade the shocks and get, uh, that's what we're gonna do soon. We're gonna, if anybody knows any way to upgrade the shocks on that, cause you could plug it, everything back up again. Yeah. So um, uh, I'm that's another, uh, another thing we're gonna get in there. And if the diameter is similar, I'm pretty sure you could get the preloads from a Dyna or a Sportster. And I have I have a feeling that we're going to be able to put the preload springs from a Harley Davidson in these, and it'll just give it that extra spring. But we'll see in the future. We'll see. Because yeah. we're also going to upgrade the fork oil. We're going to put a thicker fork oil so it compresses can a little slower. Brake, can we get these brake uh, uh, calipers, like, anodized? Well, like we, just... could, we could buy completely new brake calipers, the ones for the, um, uh, the Grom fit. So we can get... What year? The year we got, right? Yeah, not the, the 16 it's to not, 18. Yeah, it's not 2015 down. It's 2016 and up. Up, and yeah, 2016 and up. Like, thinking that it was going to fit, and it didn't fit. Okay. Sucks. He's from, Th from, from Thailand, though. It took a while. And, uh, I'm just going to reupholster. Uh, have a friend, because he wanted the, the seat we're going to do like a... Uh, like, I want a cafe style, but kind of like a... Like a it's gonna be like a, a it has the uh, pattern in it, you know, pleated. Yeah. But uh, um, it looks kind of like it gives you that little extra oomph right here. Yeah. It, you can feel your legs like you don't have enough. You suck into the gas tank. Yeah. You suck into the gas tank and it pushes you in there. Yeah. So. Uh, I want a seat that's more like a dirt bike seat. I want a seat that comes off because, almost straight with just a little hump. Yeah. yeah that's yeah. what I want. Yeah. I might make my own this, seat. We gotta cut a little bit of it. If we cut a little bit of this off, because you know, because. But you want flat. You want to. You want. You're you're looking for more racetrack, sleek design, and you want to be like up. A little pillow on the back. Can yeah. You see that one? Me, I'm doing stunts. I want that little sit. Yeah. Uh, uh, I want that little sit up. That little step up. Oh, I paint part, so if you want to get your shit painted, you know. Well, we're gonna be doing all this stuff. Everything that you see on these videos, if you get a hold of us. We'll try to do something for you. We're not a professional shop, but we're motorcycle guys, and we love doing oh, check these this things. Out. I, I use the plexiglass to hold my uh, <laughs> yeah. to hold my thing. I could probably put a little LED in there, and then it'll hit. You know, it'll, yeah. it'll, at night it'll light up or something. Yeah. Do it. And both of our bikes have undercarriage lights. This the, he's got he's got like two more uh, light rails than oh, mine. remote that controls the LEDs. Yeah. You zoom in right here. Put put the camera right here, shining downwards, and you'll watch it blow. Right. Oh yeah, yeah he's color. yeah he's got lights like crazy on here. Oh yeah, that's for a big bike, and I put them. I just shoved them all in there. <laughs> so <laughs> this is the bike as it sits. Oh, here's We're gonna. Battery. Oh, he's gonna show off his battery. Oh shit, the battery, Mister Boy. Yeah. It's got, look at you press the button and it tells you how many uh how many days that says day right it's full right now uh 13 bolts right now and you got that on ebay what's it called oh man it's a badass battery it's called badass battery oh shit it's right here oh yeah it's called a uh, um Mighty Max battery. Mighty Max look at the numbers Y T X 7 A B S there you go. But it ain't bullshit. Bullshit. And I promise. Oh, this is the wireless thing right here for the controller. See? Put it in here real nice. Uh, I promise, guys, in the future, That's I'm going to be running my videos through my LEDs. laptop. I will. Right right I will be getting um, links in the future. I will put links for parts and stuff in the future. I'm just doing everything off my phone, off an app. 
and I'm kind of a lazy ass. You're not lazy ass. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> All right, I'm going to put the phone down. We're going to start breaking this bad boy down to um, put that 190 in. Yeah, baby. This isn't live. This isn't live. This is pre-recorded. Right. Bike live. Builder live. Bear. Live. Bike Builder Bear. We don't have to have a tripod and all that good What's stuff. up to Cruzy's Originals? John's tripod. Moto Garage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dom 829. <laughs> Unknown Industries. Okay, daddy's going all the way in. Theo freaking door. Daddy's going all the way in. All you mofos out there, daddy's you're the inspiration. The in. Daddy's gotta go. <laughs> Honestly, we've only been working about 15 minutes, and yeah, like this motor's gonna this, this, like, to it this motor's gonna come out so quick. All right, I gotta put this down and turn some wrenches. Okay, so check it out. We got the original motor out. You could tell the difference in the little 125 head to the 190. Look what your mom said. Did I say something smart? No, this man out here. She says she saw a dude in black one day. In black, all right. This was at the Ross Shopping Center, Channel Island. Oh, he was uh, he, a black bike? Huh. I don't know. Well, check this out. We got the motor out. That's the motor. Yep. The motor. Motor's out. Motor, motor, motor. motor. We are going to come down here. We're gonna grind off these exterior tabs. We're gonna drill these out to 3 8 and we're gonna add washers. And then after everything's mounted up, we're gonna put a tiny little bead side to side? on the top of the washer. So, that motor is about ready to go in. We're waiting for my wife to get back with the car so we can run up and go get some uh, hardware. We need to get four bolts. The 125 is out, so we got an extra motor, extra engine. Damn, that thing's gonna be wicked. That's gonna be some wicked five speed, 190 cc shit. So yeah, I just took a little cruise on this thing, and in first gear, without even pulling up, it scared the shit out of me and popped the front tire up. This 190 motor really livens this shit up. You can't beat that. This thing's a, a beast now. Holy shit. 210 cc, here we come. Woo! it in. Busted knuckles, beat up, tired, sore, but we got it in. I come a bad be ready. Hey, you probably not cuz Satan is your daddy. Hey, on the stand, probably weighing on you heavy. Hey, what's the way? This is saying it's deadly. Hey, you trying to keep me out of heaven. But I'll say, 